This is the video idea generator. It's SEO optimized. It's a custom GPT inside of chat GPT. And in this video, I'm going to use this new custom GPT. We're going to run through a few examples. Then I'm going to show you how it was made in the back end, and then we'll finish with another example. All right. So it all starts with a keyword. The point of this custom GPT is to take a keyword that you've researched and then give you a video title, a video idea and a video description. That's all SEO optimized around that keyword. So let's say I'm on YouTube and I'm searching for keywords. So I'm going to type an email and I'm using an app called keywords anywhere. So it gives you keyword search volume. And let's say I look through all of these and I like email writing. It's getting 135,000 a month on average. And then I hover over this and it shows some pretty good volume over the past couple months. So I'm going to take that keyword, zoom out, email writing. And all we have to do according to the instructions is just enter it in this input box here. So I'm going to go email writing and hit enter. What the custom GPT is going to do first, it's going to search through its knowledge base and I'll show you its knowledge base in a bit. And it's going to come up with a video title idea and a description that's optimized towards that keyword. And this is what it shot out title master, the art of email writing tips and tricks for effective communication. And then the description is in today's video, we're diving into the essential skills of email writing, whether it's for professional or personal communication, We'll explore top tips and tricks to enhance your email writing skills from choosing the right tone to structuring your message for maximum impact. And then join us as we break down real life examples, demonstrate how to write clear, concise and engaging emails and share expert advice on avoiding common pitfalls. Tune in to elevate your email game. So there we go. We got a title and it's targeting the keyword email writing. Then we have a description that's also targeting the keyword email writing. And it's shown a couple times in the description. It's a short description. I'll tell you why that is later. You know, the word email is used a lot, which is good. So now if you were a content creator, all you have to do is make a video around this title. And if you need some help of what should be in the video, just use the description here. All right, let's delete this chat. Start again. We're gonna go to video idea generator and let's do the process again. Instead of email, let's do Amazon drop shipping. Let's see what that is. All right, 6,600, you know, Amazon drop shipping course has a thousand a month. That's a little more targeted. Let's try this one. So let's go back to the custom GPT. We'll go Amazon drop shipping course and hit enter and this is what it spit out so we got a title amazon drop shipping 101 your step-by-step -step guide to success i'm noticing it's not using the full keyword in the title that's probably why amazon drop shipping and step-by-step -step guide is very similar to amazon drop shipping course so in a roundabout way it should hit that keyword but in the description i'm seeing course and here yeah right here so it's hitting it twice and again if i was a content creator and i wanted to make a video around the keyword Amazon drop shipping course. I'd punch that into the video idea generator and it would shoot out a title, a video idea and a description that's optimized towards that keyword. All right, let's see how this was made. So if I go to the explore page and I go to this custom GPT, I'm going to go to edit. You're greeted with the builder and you can use natural language to edit your custom GPT, but I'm going to show you what's going on in the back end. I'm going to, go to configure. This has already been done. First, I generated a logo with Dolly 3 and my thought was a YouTube logo inside a light bulb. A light bulb signifies an idea and it's going off. So it's like a video idea generator. The title I came up with myself. I did not use chat GPT. I just like video idea generator and something simple like SEO optimized to tell the user that's optimizing towards a keyword. The first part of the description, this was given by chat GPT. I added in enter a keyword below because that's how it triggers the whole custom GPT just by entering one keyword. And then the instructions are pretty complicated. I won't read the whole thing. I'll just give you the summary of it. First, it's saying what this custom GPT is. It's designed to help users create engaging and SEO optimized titles and descriptions for YouTube videos. All right, scrolling down, I tell it to use the examples in the knowledge base to give video title ideas and descriptions. Then I tell it the format of the knowledge base. So it has an idea of what it's reading. And I'll show you that knowledge base in a bit. It basically lists the keyword. It shows the highest ranked video in YouTube for that specific keyword. And then it takes the description of that same video. So I'm telling it to use these examples to better come up with video ideas, titles, and descriptions. Then I tell it its exact task. When you're given a keyword, you're going to generate an SEO optimized video title for that keyword 
and then write a description for that video. And then I want you to draw from the examples provided in the knowledge base. I also tell it to be creative, to get unique. And then I saw the output was being a little bit too social. It was using exclamation marks at the end of each sentence. I guess that's what it's drawing from when it has all its YouTube stuff. But I told it to not use exclamation marks because it looks tacky. And then don't describe what you're doing because it always started with, oh, this is a video idea that you asked for. And then it end with, I hope you like this video idea or something along those lines. So I just cut that out. So it's just basically give me the title, give me the description. I'm on my way. I didn't need any conversation starters. That's usually those four boxes that you see here that gets the person going because all we do is we start with a keyword. We don't need any web browsing, Dolly 3 image generation or code interpreter because we're just generating basic titles and descriptions and we don't need any actions. There's no API calls that we need this thing to make. So I uploaded one document for its knowledge. Let's take a look at it now. All right, this is the examples document and scrolling down, it's a bunch of keywords, titles, and descriptions for certain videos. I'll continue to update this with more videos, more examples to make the custom GPT model better. I'll also keep refining its instructions in the back end, but this is just a basic knowledge base for now to get it going. All right, and this is how it works. So I just came up with a bunch of random keywords and let's open an incognito tab. So my search results are not tainted. We're gonna go to YouTube and let's try searching for a keyword to get started. So let's do something like YouTube shorts. And for that specific keyword, we're gonna ignore the short section because we're looking for long form videos. I'm gonna scroll down and this is the first video that shows for YouTube shorts. So the argument can be made that this video's title and description is best optimized SEO wise for that specific keyword. So I'd grab this video. Let's actually add it to the knowledge base now. So I'll scroll all the way down. Let's go keyword YouTube shorts. The title of that video that shows highest in the search results is this. Let's click in and it's how to make a YouTube short complete beginner guide 2023 update. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to the knowledge base and paste this in and then the description and looking through a lot of this is junk. A lot of this is promotional, but this one sentence up here is probably what's triggering the SEO. So I'm going to copy this or paste it in the description. And there we've added another example to the knowledge base. And all of these are the top performing videos for that specific keyword. So in theory, the custom GPT model should spit out a video title and description that has best performed in search if that keyword was actually used. I hope my thought process makes sense there. But yeah, I did that for a bunch of keywords. Let's do another keyword right now. All right, just use this one here, golf swing basics. I guess I could just click videos. Okay, I'm gonna copy this keyword, go to the knowledge base, paste that in, let's go title. The top one is golf swing basics, easy steps for beginners. We're seeing a lot of years in the top search titles. So I'm hoping the model starts putting in the gear because that seems to trigger the best search results. I'm gonna copy this. See, by giving it more knowledge, by giving it a bigger data set, it's gonna start to see patterns, patterns for the top performing videos. And then we need the description. I think the title is more important for SEO than the description, but everything helps. So let's go back. I'm noticing that he's putting the title in here as well. So we'll copy this. This is me formatting the description a bit. This is promotional. This has nothing to do with the SEO. And then it looks like this is as well, where he talks about what's in the video. So we'll copy that and paste that in. There we go. We have another data set. So that's our knowledge base. I'm gonna keep adding videos, make this larger, and then we're gonna save it, keep it public. And now I got a link, so zoom in. This link will be in the description below if you guys wanna try it out. But let's give it one more example to end this video. I'm gonna go view GPT. All right, let's try it with one more keyword. How about tomato plant? Just a weird keyword. And it shot out the ultimate guide to growing plump tomatoes in your backyard. That is a clickable title. I definitely use that. And in the description, we're seeing the tomato plants so the AI is deciding to use that exact keyword match in the description and not the title. It's going for a more clickable title because it's expecting the AI algorithm to show this type of video for the keyword tomato plant. More custom GPTs to come. Thanks for watching.